If you're looking for a city that has a little bit of something for everyone, price point wise and diversity wise, well then this city right here just might be for you. I'm talking about Southfield, Michigan. One of my favorites in Metro Detroit and it doesn't get talked about enough. So today I'm gonna talk about it. I'll be breaking down the good and the bad about Southfield so you can make an educated decision on if Southfield's a city for you. So if you stay to the end, I'll let you know exactly what it's gonna cost to buy real estate here and where you might wanna buy here. What's going on? If you're new to the channel, my name is Ed Butler. I'm a local realtor and I make videos just like this one about everything there is to know about Detroit and Metro Detroit. If that's something you're looking to learn more about, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos I put out. I'm also a full-time realtor, so if you're looking to make a move to Detroit or within Detroit, or it's metropolitan areas, feel free to reach out. All my information is down below and I'd love to have your back on your home buying or selling journey. And with that, let's hop into the video. So I wanted to start off giving you a little bit of a history on Southfield. So Southfield is actually one of the OG cities or townships here in Detroit. Founded in 1830, it was separated from Bloomfield Township because they just thought the two areas were just too far apart. It supposedly had possibly got its name from that because it was in the southern fields of Bloomfield Township. So after that, it got pretty established throughout the years. It was a very rural community, right? And then about 1950, 1960s, we saw uh, kind of a mass explosion and migration out of the city of Detroit to the localized suburbs and Southfield benefited from that. It went from a once just a rural destination to a more bustling urban center from a rural community to a thriving suburban center with lots of residential, commercial and businesses alike. Also during this time, right around 1964, Southfield played a pretty big role in civil rights here in America. Southfield was one of the first cities in the entire country to pass a open housing ordinance, which means they prohibited the discrimination based on race, religion or national origin. Very similar to the Elliot Larson Act that came a little bit later. This early commitment to fair housing led to it being recognized as one of the most inclusive and diverse areas in actually in the country, which I believe to this day carries on because the Southfield is one of the most diverse or inclusive communities that are in Metro Detroit. The passing of this ordinance made it very easy or a lot more easy for blacks that were relegated to Detroit to be able to move into a suburb that allowed blacks to move into it, which was Southfield, which led to the increased population of blacks in Southfield throughout history. To this day, Southfield is made up of about 70% African-Americans and then bordered to the north by Beverly Hills and to the south, Bingham Farms and Detroit. It has a ton of major highways surrounding it, like 696 and the Lodge M10 freeway. So it makes it very easy to get anywhere you wanna go, east to west 696 or kind of north and south if you take the Lodge down. And then not too far away from 75, which you can hop on and take north and south pretty rapidly. So if you're looking to be in the middle of the action and wanna be able to get to other places pretty quickly or get to work commutes pretty quickly, Southfield might be a place to look at. If you're a person or a family that all cared about schools, Southfield has some really solid schools as well. The Southfield School of Arts and Technology or Southfield a and as it's called, it's an international baccalaureate, I think that's how you say it, hopefully. International Baccalaureate World School. And what this means that it offers a IB, International Baccalaureate, degree program within a school that is world recognized that a kid can graduate with while going through their program. Another thing that's really cool about Southfield and its schools is that they have a pocket of the houses there that qualify to go to Birmingham School District. And so these are very high in demand. Birmingham is probably our most affluent suburb in Detroit or Metro Detroit. And so being able to access the Birmingham School District, which is very highly ranked. It's definitely a great benefit, but you get to pay housing prices of Southfield, which I'll get in here pretty shortly. So speaking of housing in Southfield, over the last 12 months in Southfield proper, excluding condo, there were 528 sales. Now we have to include Lather Village in these numbers. So if you include Lather Village, there were about 62 sales there. So it's given us a grand total of 590 sales in Southfield. Lather Village and Southfield are like sister cities. They're located right on top of each other in 
basically like their villages south hill but it's different it's a little special and you will see what i mean because of the price point so in south hill those 528 homes the average price point was right around 240,000. but in lather village of those 62 homes the average price point was right around 322,000. so you can see there's a little bit of a difference and i mentioned i excluded condos but i'll add them back in here because south hill has a ton of condos actually in the city and so for those over the last 12 months there were 164 condo sales coming in at an average price of about 162,000. I didn't break out like the village because there's only like eight of them and it wasn't skewed in numbers that much. I can tell you as a native Detroiter growing up, somewhat true, but not as true as it used to be because there are a lot of great places in Detroit as well and surrounding suburbs that are all inclusive as well now, but being that Southfield was one of the first to be inclusive, it made a lot of sense. One of the touchy subjects in Southfield is usually the taxes. So when you're gonna buy real estate, in Southfield, you gotta pay attention to the taxes because they have one of the higher millage rates in the Metro Detroit. So go in with your eyes open, knowing that, hey, you know, this house that I'm buying is this price, but the taxes are gonna be this, and which is gonna make my monthly payment this. Because the last thing you wanna do is go buy you a $300,000 house in Southfield with all the bells and whistles, and then a year from now, you get a tax bill that you were not expecting. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not, extraordinarily higher than the other surrounding suburbs, but Apple to Apples is usually a little bit higher than a lot of the other suburbs. So you just gotta be careful and be cognizant of it. Southfield is also known for having a ton of business spaces, a lot of commercial real estate here because a ton of business throughout history made their headquarters or sub headquarters here in Southfield. So if you're looking to live somewhere with a lot of job perspectives that you can live pretty close and have a short commute, Southfield might be a place for you because there are a lot of businesses, small and large, that call Southfield home. And especially for you smaller entrepreneurs, there's definitely a little hub in Southfield, right in the 12 mile of Greenfield area where a lot of small entrepreneurs be, are able to rent out smaller spaces to launch their businesses. And we've seen that a lot throughout history here in Detroit. All in all, I feel like Southfield is a place where you can get a ton of bang for your buck and stay centralized and not have to go out too far. So if you're looking to make a move to Detroit or within Detroit, take a look at Southfield, put it on your radar because it just might be that hidden gem that you've been looking for. If you got anything out of this video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button down below. Subscribe so you can look at other videos I'll be making just like this one on different cities around the Metro Detroit area. And as always, if I can ever help you with real estate, buying or selling or investing, feel free to reach out. And with that, I'll catch you on the next one.